Nationals. They've seen a lot of this before, so I'm sure they have a game plan coming in. Smith right away. Yeah, we'll see if they keep that pattern there to play a lot of the balls to Cali. Oh, So we thought that Brooke was going to take that overhead, but they recovered from it. Zero, zero, got back to neutral again and able to win the point. bottom of the net feels like. Yeah, almost feel like that one was kind of hitting your way out of trouble. So a lot of times if we get pressed, we might try to hit our way out. It's not the best solution. When we're under pressure, probably want to hit the more oh, neutral score. shot to try to get back. Zero, zero, <laughs> Lucy lays off that one intentionally and the heartbreak as it hits the back of the line. <laughs> You know, Michelle, what a drop, sorry. One of the things that I'm always looking for this in, in these games is who are we returning to and who are we dropping to? Mm -hmm. And generally speaking so far, Brooke and, and, and Zoe have chosen to drop almost every ball to, to Cali. They don't, they didn't get the point. <laughs> right, right, but that third is always kind of going towards Cali. Mm -hmm. Maybe respecting that, that poke that Lucy has when she kind of reaches in with that backhand there. And Zoe on cue changes it up and hits a drive behind Lucy, which is a great play, right? We've played every ball so far to Cali. Lucy maybe getting a little bit comfortable with that pattern, doesn't expect it, and then Zoe reaches and hits it back behind her on the forehand for a winner. Pace speed up there from Zoe. Yeah, and one thing to see in developing these patterns already is Zoe's able to hit that ball with that roll dink and is pushing Callie off the line on every dink. So Callie's having to retreat, whereas Zoe and Brooke are sitting on the line ready. So they'll be able to, to win that battle of real estate there at the kitchen line. And Brooke Buckner with a huge, heavy middle passing shot, which is going to give Callie and Lucy the time to take as, again, they are down by trailing by five here in game number one. Zoe Wing to serve. And a good timeout to stop the momentum of Zoe Wing and Brooke Buckner. Zero five one. Good look from Zoe Wing, but misses just wide on that backhand for yeah, She had a ball she wanted up high for sure. So here you've seen Zoe and Brooke return every ball to Callie so far. I think generally that's because Callie's a good mover and able to come in and poach, and they want to make sure. <laughs> Prove me wrong once again. <laughs> but that's why, right there. That's why they're returning every ball to Callie, because mm -hmm. Callie will come in. And Lucy hits a great third. She puts the ball down a little bit, and Callie can come in and poach, and then she's going to put a lot of pressure on. By returning to Callie, we keep her back so we don't get her into the net. And there's the adjustment from Zoe. Nice. 
Wow. Extended there on that forehand side. Yeah, great playing by Brooke there, taking the ball back behind Lucy, making her move. Right, if you can get her on the move, then sometimes you can force that pop up. Right, we want to get our opponents uncomfortable, never let them get static and, and comfortable thinking. Oh, great down the line volley from Cali. Brooke Buckner asks the ref. There, Brooke and neither ref saw the ball, so the call will stand. And another point for Callie and Lucy as they're trying to slowly but surely close that gap. And now only down by two. Yeah, and a high third there just puts them under pressure from the beginning. A shoulder high, shoulder high third isn't, isn't gonna let you get into the net very often. Five, three, one. Good pressure from Callie Smith that she was looking for an earning. Yeah, absolutely. Brooke hit that same spot in the middle, that middle dink probably five times mm -hmm. in a row, and then looks to change it. And Callie very smartly sees Brooke kind of change her body position, shows the Ernie, and then Brooke reacts a little bit and leaves that one short. Oh, the setup was there, but Brooke Buckner shanks it. Yeah, got the pop up that she wanted, but just couldn't make the contact that she was looking for. Unfortunate. Yeah. What a counter by Lucy. Zoe had set up a pretty nice ball, got what she wanted, hit it back through the middle, and then Lucy used that movement against her because mm -hmm. Zoe had pinched so far middle. Lucy able to calmly take that ball back behind her. That's Lucy Kovalova signature two-hander. Not Four, today, five, backhand. High level. Yes! Great movement up the line from Zoe Wing. Yeah, great reach again. Using that length to be able to reach in and really make that kitchen feel small. Feels like there's not a lot of place to drop that ball in safely. So much control from Zoe Wing. Finds a nice spot there as Lucy or as Callie's trying to take her space and come in. Finds her feet, gets gets her caught up in the movement. Great spot. ATP defended. Lucy Kovalova almost makes that shot in, but misses just long. Yeah, she did. And again, just a little bit of a reach, right? I'm not, I mean, the attack definitely there, but Six, maybe four, attacked one. and hit just because she was still leaning a little bit middle from those earlier dinks. And a forced speed up from Callie Smith. Yeah, there again, that ball, that drop, too good, right? And then Callie trying to decide, should I let it bounce? So I take out the air, Seven, takes four, out of the air, and. and Unfortunately, speeds that up into the waiting, waiting paddle of Brooke Buckner. Oh, nice play and recovery from Callie Smith. Oh, 
and Brooke Buckner calmly but surely just initiates down the line. Yeah, sees that gap as Kelly had slid just a little bit to the middle, kind of holds the paddle again, hits that little inside out, catches Kelly out. Great shot from Brooke there. Ahead by four. Oh no, an unlucky shot or lucky, depending on which team you're rooting for. <laughs> right. yeah. And here we go. I would like to see Lucy maybe reach in and try to speed some things up and just see if she can find an opportunity there. And as we come back from the timeout, Zoe Wing, Brooke Buckner are going to stay with their game plan as it's been working here. And they got what they wanted as they were a little bit more aggressive off of the side out. But Kelly just missing that oh, last that shot just long. And here we are with game point number one. 10 for two. Oh, and Brooke Buckner decides to speed up on a crucial game point opportunity. I mean, she had it. She had it there. It's a 10 4 shot. We'll see if they can get a side out and get another opportunity. Risky. Yes! Yeah, Lucy looking to come over and maybe take that ball. Um, just not quite able to get in there and, and really kind of, Kelly couldn't quite see it, couldn't make good contact and second serve. Play, play from Callie Smith. Hopefully they could keep that momentum, keep working off of that point. Lucy tries it, but is unsuccessful. They're down by five, so why not give it a try? Yeah, I'd rather see it though on her backhand, mm -hmm. right? That little poke as opposed to that forehand out there. It's a much higher risk shot with the height of the net on that side. There it is, right? You asked for it and there it was. So Lucy finds that speed up, tests it. Uh, Zoe leaves it up a little bit, and Callie's able to put it away. So, see if they can build on that here. Third game point. Yeah! And that's going to do it for game number one. Zoe Wing, Brooke Buckner. Right off the bat, game number two, staying solid. Yeah, and just, again, back to the same pattern. Zoe dinking the ball out to Callie, yeah, waiting for that ball in the middle that she can then hit down on and put away. Mm, missed backhand dink from Lucy Kovalova. Not their best performance I've seen from them the last five years. <laughs> I've been watching them. Right. But, you know, maybe they could figure it out here. It's still early on in game number two. Ooh, unlucky off of the net. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, another second net cord that's gone against Kelly and Lucy there. Two zero one. to every time a lot of patience and a lot of mixing up of the dink. Well, they earned a 
first side out there. Great stuff. Zero, two, one. You know, interesting there, Michelle, development. So Kelly took three balls in a row down the line, mm -hmm. straight to Brooke. So maybe thinking from a game plan standpoint, maybe we won't give the ball to Zoe quite so much to move the point around. We'll see. They have to get there, though. They have to get there. Got to get in first. <laughs> and it's, it's easier said than done because the task is really tough against these aggressive returns. And the game has elevated here. Oh, playing an out ball, but Brooke uses it as a combo. Yeah. Kelly shakes her head. She knows that one was out. Hard to lay off, though, when the ball's coming that quickly. And there it is. Lucy able to reach in and poke that ball out of the air, that backhand. She's won a lot of tournaments with the, the effectiveness of that backhand. I'd like to see her use it more. of Brooke Buckner and a tremendous point. Uh, a clean winner lob, Michelle. That is a, an excellent, excellent shot. Again, game number two and ahead by four. And just like game number one, now ahead by five. Will they call the timeout just like last time and regroup? They will continue play, Adam. Him up for the side out. Yeah, Lucy says, I'll see your lob and hit one of my own. <laughs> Not to be outdone. Fantastic spot. Zero, five, one. Oh, that one miss from Zoe. Well, <laughs> they, ha they have had two tape winners, so they were due to have one on the tape not go their way. Callie and Lucy will breathe a sigh of relief on that one as they score their first point. Yeah. Very nice from Brooke there. Saw that setup, got that two-hander loaded and ready. Just a lot of a lot of pace, and the ball comes off of Brooke's paddle. Like a rocket. She is hitting that ball with a lot of force. Yeah. Quality combination from Zoe. Again, her ability to move inside and set it up and stay with the combo. Um, just really, really high level. Five, one, one. Caught Zoe off guard there. She took a huge backswing. Yep. Yep. Risky, <laughs> risky shot, but it worked out for them. Yep. And you can see Kelly and Lucy too again returning primarily to Zoe, trying to keep her back so that she can't come and poach. And also, I think out of respect for the drive of Brooke Buckner, which is a weapon. there again with Lucy reaching in with that backhand, finding that poke out of the air, and then really changing the point. Um, That's if Lucy gets to see the ball. Right. Right. And, you know, Zoe and Brooke have been doing a really good job at isolating. It's 
So it's tough. I've been in that position where it's like you kind of have to be a supportive partner, and when it's there, that's the opportunity you could do it. But you could only wait for so long. Just so clean from Zoe there. A little roll to the outside that gets that gets Lucy stretched off the right side of the court, then an inside out to the side of Callie that gets Callie pushed off the side of the court, and then plays the ball back across Callie's movement. Just great use of the full length of the court there by Zoe. Zoe leaves one drop high. It's one of the first ones that she's really left up there. But really, again, love to watch the way that she's able to create gaps. That's what you want to do. We don't want to just speed up and go straight out all the time. We want to try to create gaps in our opponents. And they're moving. And they catch Lucy coming out of the coming out of there on the stack there. A nice ball by by Zoe, recognizing that she was just a little bit late to get to the line. Great spot from Callie Smith. Yeah, great spot. The one thing that we've been seeing, Michelle, and we'll see it again here, is just the contrasting styles of dinking. So Zoe and Brooke really hitting a lot of top spin roll, kind of heavy dinks, whereas Callie's primarily hitting more of a cut dink. And again, dinking that ball from back off the line, whereas Zoe and Brooke are right up on top of it. Oh, oh my goodness. But Lisa Kovalev, again, any opportunity that Lucy has been getting, she's been taking advantage yep. and setting it up for their team. Agreed. Two, six, one. She's trying to find a way to be offensive anytime she sees the ball there. Ball was called out, and the ref overturns the call. So second serve will go to Lucy Kovalova. instead of always diagonal. It's giving Zoe a lot of opportunity to create. There you go, that's a Callie Smith. We know just being aggressive and just letting loose a little bit more, but hopefully they could do that when they're on the service possession. Right. Cord. That's three that have gone against them. They have had two that have gone for them, but when it happens to you, it feels like you forget about all the ones that went your way. <laughs> you only remember all the ones that went against you. And I'm sure we could all relate. <laughs> all the pickleball fans at home, thanks for tuning in. Zoe there again, able to come across, really being big in the middle. Looks super aggressive play from Zoe, super solid. I, I'm, I'm very impressed. Um, have not seen her play. I didn't catch MLP in the last one, so um, definitely a player to look out for for sure. She is on the rise. from Brooke Buckner. Brooke's found that window down the line behind Kelly a couple times today, and both, uh, both times have been for, for kind of crucial points, so that one gets them you know, within striking distance of closing this match out. Nine, two, two. Didn't know what to do there. She, was, she had so many options. Yeah. A rare miss. Mm -hmm. But an opportunity for Callie and Lucy. They're trailing. They need to do it now. Need to make moves. And there's that aggressive play we were hoping for on the service possession. Yeah. 
Yeah, Callie, they're really imposing her will on that one, choosing to continue to keep the pressure on with the speed up. Yeah, and an aggressive dink throw by Callie to set that one up, right? So instead of just kind of giving it back, she took a cut, moved that ball across, got Zoe out of position, and set up the rest Four, of that nine, point. One. Great ball by Callie. It's like Callie's sense of urgency just like, just came up, I mean. I wanted to see this play earlier on, but now Brooke Buckner, Zoe Wing are gonna call a timeout. They see that the yes! And the momentum has shifted here on grandstand court. Lucy Kovova and Callie Smith getting a point after the timeout, that's huge. This is, this is what happens in pickleball, right? Why runs happen? Because you're feeling good, everything's working well, and then the other team starts to chip away and you get a little bit tighter. And some of those shots you were making before that felt comfortable now get a little bit harder. Ooh, and the wind just came and, and held that ball on the side of Callie Smith and Lucy Kovalova. Down by two now. Not bad of a comeback, but still looking for more points. And a side out much needed as Brooke Buckner, Zoe Wing are only two away from a spot to the quarterfinals. But you feel, Michelle, like they've got to get it here, right? Because the momentum that Callie and Lucy have, if they get the ball back, I think they might be able to close this game. Great play by Brooke and Zoe there, just thinking until they get a ball that's hung by Callie just a little bit high. Zoe jumps on it, puts it down, wins the point. Oh, and they do it, Michelle. Yes, Zoe Wing, Brooke Buckner. Big congratulations as they move on to the quarterfinals and will be playing against Elise Jones and Irina Tereschenko 